Hello YouTube, it's GMBGRG96 here with my first Halo LEGO video. And to start off, I'm going to do the Elephant's Troop Transport, as I like to call it. It's not really Troop Transport, but looks like one. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Alright, so I'll just give you a quick overview real quick. Alright, so here... Right here is basically the main area where all the troops usually s sit or whatever. Here's that back ramp. Walk up over here. Walk up this ramp to get up here. And oh boy, there's my knife. So yeah, here's upstairs. Here's the cockpit right there. Not very many like control panels or anything in there. Here's that detachable turret that people can get on and like break it off walk around mow people down comes in handy in multiplayer I'll tell you that right now um you really don't see an elephant all too much in Halo 3 the only one you really see it in is Halo Wars but you're not really driving it and you see it in one level and that is Sand Trap on Halo 3 so yeah let's just get into the details a little bit the over those little overhang things right here and if anyone knows that um, mod on on Halo 3 where you can use the Hornet and get the Elephant pl Fly, please send me the name of the video so I can figure out how to do that. It's been driving me crazy. Um. So yeah, so here's the crane right there. Uh, the only thing I really did was just make it go down. And sometimes it breaks off like it just did. It's not the strongest thing I made, but still. Hold on a minute. There we go. So yeah. Um just it, the elephant is a little small for its actual size. Like, hang on a minute. Um Yeah, just like hold on a second so I can compare it to my warthog. Yeah, okay, so here it is compared to my Warthog. From the top view, they're kind of the same. They're not really, like, you know how in Halo 3 you can fit a whole, like, two Warthogs on the back of this? You can't even, you can't even fit one. So, yeah, and for the record, this is not my Warthog. It's Saber Scorpion's design. And, um, yeah, so, yeah. I'll make another video for that. Um, so yeah, uh, here's the big turret that's up front that you can sit on and yeah, it goes a whole 360 degrees, can go up and down, all that stuff. Here is that little light right there that is like that little headlight or whatever. Um, and then I did put a little radio right here. Just so there's kind of like some communications and all that. Hold on. There we go. Put this back on. And yeah. So just one of these radio pieces just put in there. Um, it is kind of accurate. Oh, there's an assault rifle. Kind of accurate to what it's like in the game. Oh yeah, a little window. Look inside. Um, and yeah, these are not treads, actually. They do not have actual treads under them, as you can see. It's just a block of Legos. Doesn't move the best on, um, carpet. So, yeah, it doesn't really move the best on any surface, actually. So, um, yeah. I might make a tutorial on this. I don't know yet. It is pretty cool in my perspective. But, yeah, I don't know if I'll make it because I don't know how many people will watch it. And I have been on YouTube recently. There's not very many YouTube Halo 3 Lego tutorials on an elephant. There's only one on a pelican, and it's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. 
Um, that's basically it. There's nothing else I really think I need to show you. Oh, um, in the front, so I spin around. I don't know if you can see it because it's a little dark, but there is that little TV screen right there. And you can fit a mongoose in here. I just don't feel like getting up and getting my mongoose. The only reason I got my warthog is because it was right there, and yeah. Um, haha, it's not in the background. So, um, yeah, that's basically it for the elephants. Um, so yeah, comment, rate, and subscribe, and goodbye.